Hey YouTube, all right, we're back today and we're going to create a video on how to use Nmap. A lot of people ask me, you know, how do you use Nmap the correct way? You know, how do you detect what the operating system is or how do you tell what services are running uh, on, a, on a target um, using Nmap? So today I'm gonna walk you through a few of the basic steps on how to use Nmap. And we're gonna do that. I have Kali Linux already installed. Um, if you don't have Kali Linux installed, um, you just need to make sure you have Nmap installed on on your operating system. All right. So um, if you already have it installed, just open up a terminal, and we're going to use um, the Nmap command, like so. And if you want to, if you already know the IP address of the target that you want to scan, you can just type in Nmap and the IP address. Um, you can scan that way. If you don't know a specific target's IP address and you want to find what targets are on a, a specific network, like 192.168.1 network, then you can type in this command, like 1 through 254, and that'll scan all the targets that are connected on the IP subnet. All right. And my tutorial, I'm just going to, I'm going to scan my Wi-Fi router IP address, or that is um, IP address is 192.168.1.254, so I'll scan that. And um, before we do so, um, what I want to make sure you guys know about Nmap scan, when you do an Nmap scan, it's going to scan the target, it's going to make a connection to the target, it's going to complete a handshake, to, it's going to scan the target, check for open ports, um, try to see what the operating system is, things like that, and it's going to create a establish a connection. And um, all that would be recorded on the target's, you know, operating system, on their operating machine system. They'll log all that information in their log. So they'll know that you scan them, right? So what I'm getting at is if you want to scan a target and be stealthy, you can use a scan called the TCP send scan. And the flag you'll use is this. So dash lowercase s uppercase s and what that'll do is that'll do a tcp send scan it'll check just it'll it'll initiate the scan to see if the port is open but it doesn't establish a connection so it doesn't get recorded in the operating system of the target that you're scanning so they they don't know that you scan them so you know this is just a little trick you know to be stealthy so in this case all right so we're going to scan we're going to scan my um, wireless router here. Um, if you don't have a particular port that you want to scan, just um, type in the command like so. Hit enter. And that'll scan for all open ports. And in a couple of seconds, we'll get a result. All right. See, it came back. Showed us um, a few different things. Um, we got domain services. Um, it has an open port. Open means that that, that port is accessible and you can communicate with it, and that port is 53. Same thing for HTTP, port 80. Um, RPC bind is filtered, so that means the port is not open. It's, it, it, see, it saw the port, but it's not able to communicate with it, so, um, so it's um, classified and it's filtered, so it's not open. And then we have HTTPS um, 443, which is open. All right, so all right, we've identified some ports. On a, on a target that we're scanning. Now, let's say you want to scan just a specific port, not all ports, but you know you want to scan one particular port number. You can do this, dash P, say port 80. If you want to scan that host on port 80, you can use the dash P flag, with dash P 80, and like so, hit enter. And it'll scan that machine only on that port. It's not going to scan port 53 port 443. It's going to only scan, right? All right, so that's how to scan just a specific port number. All right, now let's say um, if you want to determine the operating system of a target. Take out this. We'll just leave the dash SS so that we're um, using the TCP send scan to be Stealthy, right? So if we want to check the operating operating system, we'll do a dash, then a capital O, like that. 
Hit enter, give it a couple of seconds, and it's going to, it's going to um, take a good guess at what the operating system is, and it'll come back and give you um, a result. All right, so it came back. Um, so actually, you know, I didn't specify a port. I mean, not a port. We didn't need to specify a port yet. But so it checked the operating system. It came back, and it says that um, MAC address is um, areas group. No exact OS match for your host. Um, and and, my, and you know, this is my this is my Wi-Fi router. So it, that may be the case. But if you were scanning a Windows machine or a Linux machine, it would come back and tell you this is a Windows machine or it's a Linux machine. In this case, it shows me areas group, which I know areas group makes wireless routers, but um, but like I said, if you were scanning a Windows machine or a Linux machine, you, you would see that in this result, but this is the same way you would scan an operating system scan. All right, so um, one, more, one, more, uh, one more thing that I'd like to teach you about in MAP is how to use scripts. So in MAP has, you know, 100, probably 100 plus scripts that you can use, and these scripts are specific commands or scripts that you can run to do check different services things like that so for example we're going to use the nmap script the banner script to see what version of the web server is running on port 80 on our target so we would do uh, we would do sudo nmap we'll do the stealthy and then we'll do we want to check that we're going to scan a service to see what version it is. So we'll do dash SV, and then we're going to do uh, dash dash script equals banner. And then we're going, we're going to actually go back and say port 80. So we'll do dash P 80, port 80. And then we'll put our IP address over our target. All right, so let's go over this command real quick. It's kind of a long one. So we're going to do sudo nmap dash lowercase s, uppercase s for stealth, lowercase s, uppercase v for our service, and we're going to scan on port 80. And we're going to check the banner. Banner of a web service or a SMTP service or whatever will tell you, you know what software it is and what version it is. So we're gonna do we're gonna run the banner script. All right, we'll do that like so. And this will come back and it'll tell us what the version of the web server is. It's running on port eighty. What software it's actually using. All right, so here we go. All right, so port 80, it did, did the scan on port 80. Um, service scan, it found the light HTTPD um, 1.4.66 software. Um, so, okay, we've identified the version of the web software that's running. So in a vulnerability scan, let's say you're doing a pen testing on a company and you're checking their, their router or their firewall or their web server or whatnot. So you scan that. Now we just identified what software it is. Um, other web server software like Apache or Nginx, we just learned what version of that software is running on that target. And now we can go to like exploit DB or whatnot, and we can go search for vulnerabilities for light HTTPD web server version 1.4.66. So if there are any known vulnerabilities out there, then you can take those vulnerabilities and exploit this, this target. So that, in a nutshell, is you know how you use nmap. Um, that was just a few commands um, on how to use nmap. Those are the basic um, commands and most commonly used commands. So I hope it was helpful. And if you like the video, hit the subscribe button, and um, I'll make you guys some new videos. All right, thanks.